Hi guys, so it's Friday, which means it's time for hashtag Friday Reads. It's the first Friday of the new year, so I'm really excited to do this Friday Reads. I love doing the hashtag Friday Reads, and I kind of wanted to talk to you all about this for a quick second because I feel like the Friday Reads is kind of going away a little bit. I feel like it's kind of died down. Um, I know Bunny hasn't been doing it as much, and I know that they took the video response feature away. So I think both of those things kind of have something to do with the lack of Friday reads that are out there now. But the reason I wanted to talk to you all about it was because in the very beginning when people started to do the Friday reads, it was just a lot of fun. Every Friday I knew that I could go on YouTube and upload my video and a lot of people were going to watch it. A lot of people were going to see my channel that normally didn't because of the hashtag Freddy Reads. And so that was, it was a great way to bring people to your channel. But more importantly, it was something that I did as a community with you all. So I feel kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't know. It was just one of my favorite things to do as a community, as a booktube community, as a YouTube community, because there were other people who weren't booktubers that started doing the hashtag Friday Reads. Um, so I just really, really like that. So I hate to see it die down. So the challenge for myself this year is to do one every single Friday. I know that I might have to miss one or two here and there, especially during the summer, like with vacation and stuff, but I'm gonna try my hardest to do one every day this year. I mean, not every day, that would be crazy. Every Friday this year. So that is my, one of my goals. I'm gonna do like a resolutions video and that's gonna be one of them. But hashtag Friday Reads is just something that's really important to me. So I would really, really like it if you all started doing it more. I really enjoyed, you know, watching those and I know other people did as well. So I don't know, I just feel like that was something that brought us all together as a community and we could share on Twitter as well as YouTube. And so I hate to see it kind of die down. So anyway, <laughs> I'll get off my soapbox about that now. I just wanted to put it out there because I do feel like a lot Lot less people are doing it now and I don't really know why um, but it's just a great way to get your channel seen and to talk to the community about the other books that you're reading or that they're reading I don't know I just think it's a great thing and I really really miss seeing some of the people that used to do it often aren't doing it very much anymore so I hate that I just wish it would come back so anyway like I said that's all I'm gonna say about that and now on to what I'm gonna be reading this weekend hopefully finishing up and that is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I picked this up before the new year yeah before the year ended and I had to put it down because I had my reading challenge that I wanted to finish up so I was um, reading a couple of small books to get it out of the way because I really wanted to meet my goal <laughs> so I had to put it down but after the new year when I was able to pick it up I have not been able to put it down. I'm on about 200, page 200, 198, something like that. And there are things that I really love about this book. I love, you know, I wasn't sure because there was a lot of hype and a lot of people talking about it. And um, I was kind of worried because it was just another vampire book. And, you know, so I was kind of unsure about how I would feel about it because I, I love vampires. I loved them before. It was cool to love vampires. But um, I'm kind of sick of them now and all the vampire cliches. But this book is like the exact opposite. It's like how vampire books should be written. Um, it's just a really, really great book. I'm really enjoying it so far. I love Holly Black's um, writing style. I've never read her before. This is the first book of hers that I read. So I'm really enjoying it and I cannot wait to finish this one so I can pick up some more stuff by her. I watched an interview by her. She just seems like a really neat person, a really cool person. She's a great writer. This book reads really well. It's well written. Um, it's entertaining. There are some parts that I found kind of slow, but um, I still wanted to keep reading. I, I can't explain. Like, I thought, okay, let's move on, you know, but then I was never really bored either. So. I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. I know a lot of you guys have read it and liked it. I got it for Christmas and I just could not wait to get into it. So yeah, that's what I'm reading and hopefully, like I said, hopefully I'll finish it up this weekend and then I don't know what I'm going to move on to yet. So if you haven't read it, um, you should definitely do that. And if you have, leave in the comments below if you liked it or not and what you think of Holly Black's other writing because like I said, I would like to check her out, but I don't really know what else she's written. So if you've read anything else by her and you like her, let me know. So that's what I'm going to be reading, and I will see you guys later. I have another book haul because I swear you all, I think I'm a hoarder. So stay tuned for that and my New Year's resolutions. Bye!